1995 was a busy year. We toured extensively in Canada and the United States and saw a lot of places we'd never seen before. It was a very exciting time. Record companies were sniffing around and in 1996 we signed a deal with Elektra Records in New York City. We were eager to get busy and promptly went to Memphis to record. We spent six weeks in Memphis at Easley Studios. The record was finished in June of 96, but it didn't come out until February of 97. When it finally did, it was called Sweet Home Record. Strategic Planning started the Sweet Home Record tour in Tucson, Arizona. We were playing in the middle of nowhere to Soundman, and boredom set in. And as the boredom got more intense, we got stupid, and Ian went crazy. <laughs> Electra didn't dig our new sound, and our record deal went down the toilet. In May of 98, we went to Toronto to record a new record with Dale Morningstar at the gas station. The songs were more epic, and we all sold it a lot. We were learning to party. Five years of partying was enough for Cliff Gibb. After the recording was finished, he bowed out gracefully, and we were once again in search of a drummer. Ben Ross had played in a prog band from Dartmouth called Weasel Face Judge. He had what we wanted, chops, and a killer beard. Ben fit in perfectly. In February of 1999, our new record came out on Sonic Onion. We named it Clayton Park after the suburb that we'd grown up in. Nineteen ninety nine has been a great year for Thrusherman. We would like to thank all the fans who supported us, many who have grown up with us over the past seven years. Clayton Park is where the story began, and this is where it ends. Yeah, do what you got.
Ik wil niet Ik zie iemand hier op de show met hem. Ha, 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 ha.